Hi guys, welcome back. Today is a hair video where I go from this to this. And it's using my new best friend, the Laduo Airflow Styler from Lange. If you come to my channel, then you may know I've started to get a little obsessed with wavy hair or curly hair, or basically hair that doesn't look like this every day because that's all I've got, straight, thin and very flat hair. And a couple of years ago, I stumbled across my daughter's curling iron and it sort of changed my life. So back in March, I did a video actually using a very similar product to this, but I'm now realizing that it was probably a dupe for the launch. So that one is called the Babyliss Curl Styler Luxe. And I have to say, I absolutely loved it. So I did a first impressions video then, and I will put the card up here and I will also put a link down to that below. And I really loved it. It was easy to use and it was fantastic. Fantastic. However, after multiple uses, I mean, we're talking 10 or 15 uses, it started to grab my hair and started to pull the hair out. Now, I know that we all lose a little bit of hair every day. There's no doubt about that. But it was getting stuck in the plates. And I thought maybe that was sort of a product buildup sort of situation. So I cleaned the plates. And I found that the more often I used it, the more hairs were being pulled out. And I'm sorry, you guys, I can't put up with that. I have thin menopausal hair, so I'm trying to keep as much on my head as possible. So while it was a great device for a while, it ended up in a drawer. And that device cost me about 70 pounds, so it was not insignificant. And I was really excited because I thought it was going to do a great job, and it turns out I've had to let that go. But quite recently, I was watching a video by a gal that I follow on Instagram. Her name is Beth, I think it's Oliveri. She is refreshingly wrinkled filter free. That's her handle on Instagram. And I love watching her stuff because she's in my age range. You know, she's in her 50s and she loves chinking around with makeup and with hair and all sorts of stuff and I enjoy watching her. So she did a tutorial that used this device that was just looked super quick and super easy. And since I have been on the look for the holy grail device that wasn't gonna damage my hair, but still gives me the results I want, then I figured I was gonna give this a go. So what's so great about this device? First of all, this has adjustable heat settings. So you can go anywhere from 280 up to 430 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I have really thin hair and I'm trying to protect it. So I'm using this at a much lower setting than a lot of other people, but when you have thin hair, you don't need to go super hot. The other thing is it has a fan built into it. And the fan is accomplishing two things. One, it is helping to keep your hair cool while it's being exposed to heat. But two, it also helps the curl to stay. And that's huge because people with thin hair, or at least me anyway, I can't keep a curl. So something that's gonna actually help set it while I use it is just fabulous. It does have titanium plates, so that means that it gives a constant temperature and an even heat distribution. And it has these tiny little vents here. And what that's designed to do is to have the cool air actually actually pass through the device. So it's going through the hair, it's not getting stuck in anywhere, and it's just the right distribution. And the other thing that's so great about this is this little guy here. Now it's funny, at first when I saw this, I didn't know what it was. It was sort of, is it a curling iron or is it a flat iron? And let me just start by saying, well, first of all, it's a combination of both. But secondly, I've never used a flat iron in my life. I mean, look at my hair, my hair's flat. <laughs> I don't need a flat iron. But what I've heard is that flat irons give the best curl if you can figure out how to do it because your hair is just passing through it. It's not like a curling iron where you leave it there to heat up. And that's generally what I do. I use an iron, I hold it for a few seconds, I move it down and then I hold for a few more seconds. But with this, you don't, you just let it pass through your hair. So it's less damage to the hair, it's less exposure to heat. Okay, so as for cost, I actually bought this off the US site, the launch site directly, because I was getting ready to go over to visit my mom and it retails for 119. Now, I have found out later that it's a lot less if you get it in other places. Now, I did get a discount, so I got it for less, but I found it at Ulta for 89 euros. So I will put a link to that down below if you wanna go and check it out yourself. So we're gonna do a quick demo to show you how I use it. There are a couple of things when I'm curling my hair I always use. I always use two different clips, um, a heat protection spray, cause that's a must, and I use this brush. Now I ordinarily never use brushes. The only time I ever use a brush is when I'm doing this kind of curling to my hair. I only like to use a wide tooth comb, so I'm not yanking it out. However, I use a brush to make sure that everything is really nice and smooth before it goes into the device. Okay, so when you first plug this in, you hold down the button and it starts to blink to help you select the temperature. Now for me, I only go halfway up. I go to 360 degrees Fahrenheit. It's right in the middle, not too hot, not too cold. And that's just enough for me. The light flashes until it hits the desired temperature and that's when the fan kicks in, which you're gonna hear in a minute because it's gonna start to get loud. So while we're waiting for that to heat up, what I do is I always part my hair into two sections. I don't know why. It's not like I would be able to do it all at one time. It's just not the way it goes. I do one side at a time. 
and then I separate it to usually three or four sections. Ah, did you hear that? <laughs> She's off and running. So I just get that up and out of the way. And the key, I always do this in sections because I feel like I just have a better chance of making sure that everything is coated and everything is protected. And then you should go anywhere between three quarters of an inch and an inch section, sort of like this. Put it up and you just pull it through. So you can't really see the back, so we will start with some here so you can get a view. Anything that's near the face, I always go backwards with just to keep it away. Wow, that one's got a lot of boing in it, but we can come back and address that in a minute and I'll show you how. I generally alternate the direction so that some are forward and some are back because it just gives a bit more dimension and a little bit sort of lacking uniformity, which I like. So this one's going to come forward and then you just pull it down. Barely passes through. It's just great. It's a heck of a lot faster than using a curling iron, I can tell you that. I can actually see all the grays. <laughs> I don't often color underneath in the back. That's something that needs to be done. And one of the tricks that I've learned, because this is a flat iron as well, is that if you have a little bit too much bounce and you want those to straighten out, you just go in at the end and kind of do that. That's perfect. So then I'm going to probably speed this up as I go through each of the sections. particular heating spray was making my hair very damp, so I'm going to go back to a different one. This is by Living Proof. It keeps your hair dry, even though that Bumble and Bumble says apply to dry hair, which I've never done. It's leaving it quite, quite wet, and it ner makes me very nervous to put heat to wet hair. Let's see if you can actually do that one section more than once. We're going to find out. See, it's getting stuck. Worked out perfectly. Lovely. Gary, would you like me to do your hair? No. <laughs> no thanks? No thanks. Okay. Too short now after my That is a fair point. It's a fine haircut too, I might say. Ah, look at that. that is beautiful. The thing that's so great is your hair just glides right through these plates. Honestly, I generally have a, I usually have a mirror that lets me see the back so that I know what's going on back there, but not today. Okay, so one of the downsides to this device and what's just happened, if you can see right here, the blinking lights, that tells you where the temperature is. Because the positioning of the button that controls that is right here. When I'm spinning things around, my thumb is accidentally hitting that and increasing the temperature. It, it does happen quite frequently, so it's something I have to kind of keep an eye on. This, by the way, is from Living Proof. It's the perfect hair day heat styling spray. So it's specifically for dry, for already dried hair. My fringe is sort of an ongoing issue for me of late. I try to go and get curtain bangs. And it worked well for the, you know, the day that I've gotten them. And I have never learned how to style them ever since. And it's been the bane of my existence. There have been tears. And how stupid is that? Anyway, we're getting there. Growing them out. Okay, so that's side one. Essentially now, take the clip out, stick it in there to separate it. And I just let those curls sit. And we do the same thing on this side. last thing I do is just go in and you know get a few of those pieces that are just looking a little too curly okay this is how it looks when we first finish off now I know it's a bit mad <laughs> it 
that's a bit all over the place. And I'd say that there may be people watching this right now who are really good with hair. I am not one of them. I'm just delighted that I can make my hair look a little bit different than it did when I got up this morning. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of technique. And if there are any tips and tricks for this, please, hair people, leave that down below. But what I do love is that that flat iron allows me to sort of straighten out some of the ends. Now, generally, I leave this to cool for a minute. And I don't really do much more than just run a wide tooth comb through it. And then just kind of let it settle. Because, you know, if I'm doing this in the morning, then I'm usually, you know, I'm an hour or two before I get to work or whatever. There are so many things I love about this little device. Now, the first is that my hair doesn't feel damaged. It doesn't feel hot. When I use a curling iron, my hair feels hot. My hair does not feel damaged. It doesn't pull my hair out like the other unit did. And it just feels like it's in better condition. The other thing that's so great about this is that your hair just slips right through it. It's not tugging on it. It's not feeling like it's getting stuck. It's just smooth. Another thing that I love about this, it's small, it's portable. It's actually incredibly light and it's easy to pack. In fact, I actually took this with me on a trip recently. I was in Lisbon for work. I did bust it out a few times. But the real thing that I found interesting is that we went to Rome just for a couple of nights and it was sort of a, we were out all day. It was take a shower, leave with your hair wet. And by the end of the day, my hair was a bit of a mess, even though it was clean. But I had to go out for dinner and I didn't have time to shower. I didn't have time to do this curly thing because it does take a little bit of time. It takes, you know, 15 or 20 minutes to do it. So I just did the flat iron and my hair looked great. And that took me all of probably four minutes to get out the door. So fantastic for that. But I think the greatest thing about it is that I have managed to find something that keeps the curls in all day. Now it's not gonna look like this all day, but when they fall, they fall beautifully. So 10 hours from now, 12 hours from now, I'm still gonna have what looks like curly hair when in fact we know I do not have that. Now the only things I don't like about it, there are very few of them. Uh, the first one I mentioned is that I keep hitting, sorry this does have a really great 360 swivel, um, I kept hitting this button as I'm doing my hair. It happened here once and it happened at least once every time I'm using it. But look, it's something I'm very happy to overlook. The other thing is it only comes with one plug. So I live in Europe, so it comes with an American plug. Now, it's not the only device I have in this room that's American-based, so I have a number of different plug adapters and I can take them with me. But I wish I had an option for a UK even though I'm in Ireland, you know, we, we use the same plug. I wish there was an option for different plugs, but that's okay. It's dual voltage. I can take this anywhere in the world with me and it's not gonna blow up. And the only other downside, it was my own damn fault. I found out after I purchased it that it comes in black. You know, pink really isn't my color, but at any rate, I don't care. I absolutely love this device and it's my new best friend <laughs> and I'm using it all the time. And the last thing I'm gonna do, and I hadn't really planned on it, but I'm gonna. I'm going to show you the other device, the Conair device that I had, just to show you the differences between them really quick. So the Conair also has what they say is the same technology, right? This is the one that got stuck in my hair a little bit more often. So you can see the size differential. Now this is much smaller. The plates aren't hugely smaller. If you look at the plates themselves, they're very similar in size. And by the way, this is best for people with short, my hair and shorter. If you have longer hair, they do have another version called the Grand, and that has much longer plates. So that might be a little bit easier for people that have really long hair. But when you compare these two, this is much heavier, this is much lighter. And I just think, even though it's very light, it seems very well made, but even when you open these up and you can see this doesn't open very far and this has a much greater range on it. So that's just to compare the two. And I'm surprised to find that they're so similarly priced. So this is a no brainer. This in the end for me isn't something that I'm continuing to use 70 pounds, whereas this one's about $89 and I would buy a new one tomorrow if this one died just saying. So that is it for me and today's video. So from now on in all the videos, in fact the last couple, if you see my hair looking curly, that's the guy that did it and I love it. And have you heard of this? Have you used it? And in particular if you have any tips and tricks for ways just to make things a bit easier, I'm so bad with hair but I like having it look a bit different so for me it's all about variety. So thank you so much for joining today and if you've made it this far and if you like the video please do give it a thumbs up. Otherwise I'll see you at the next one. Bye! Okay, I mean, how do I go back and say that? So I am on the, I have, ugh. So I, how do I go back and say, okay, I'm gonna back up a little bit. You might get rid of that last sentence. Click, you know.